Okay, Jason, this is uh, what I would call a big light. It is. It's rather impressive. It's the SolarSpot Pro 1500 from High End Systems. And yep, it's big, but that's because they've packed so much into it. They have, in fact, packed just about everything you could possibly conceive into the head, things. which accounts for not only the nearly 40 kilograms of weight, mm. but also the physical bulk of the head, mm. inside of which we have I've been rehearsing this. <laughs> CMY color mixing, yes. color wheel, yep. linear CTO, variable frost, uh, six position plus open rotating gobo wheel, mm -hmm. seven position plus open static gobo mm -hmm. wheel, three facet rotatable prism, mm -hmm. animation wheel, mm -hmm. iris, uh, rotatable tiltable four blade framing shutter mechanism. You got it, well done. Indigo highlighter function yep. and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> That's it. I'm and lying about the partridge in the pear tree. It's because the partridge would be cooked because this is a uh, 400 watt LED source that kicks out 20,000 lumens. Yeah, it's kind of at odds in yeah. my head with the rest of the optical path because mm. this is an optical path and the size of the actual fixture head. This is what I expect to see with a 1200 yeah. watt discharge lamp behind it. Yeah. And this is a 400 watt LED. Yeah. And it sounds crazy, but it works. Yeah, it, it does. It, it is. It's giving you what you are seeing and a little bit more in some cases in some comparable fixtures. You know, the, the big ones with the big discharge lamp. We're not going to name names. But yeah, that's exactly where it's playing and it's doing all of it. Yeah. Look, this is um, this is a very good fixture and, and they've managed to, to squeeze pretty much every last a little lumen possible mm. out mm. of the source. Uh, I think they've done really well with the optical train. Yeah. Um, at short distances, I think it's hard to get all the elements of the framing shutters simultaneously sharply focused, but I do think that's probably down to the fact that we were mm. testing it at a fairly short throw distance. Mm. Um, look, for me, I think the, the win is, is the, the output that you get out of this. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's good quality light and there's plenty of it. Even when you put a gobo or a colour, mm -hmm. there are some beautiful split beam colours that you can see. We've got mm -hmm. one of them in at the moment. Every colour next to every other colour on the colour wheel mm. works together. They've just really thought about it, you know, They're even down to the carry handles on the side of the yoke, which you sort of need you do, in fairness yeah. because uh, it, it does make it more manageable. Mm. I think this is a good fixture. Yeah, I was particularly impressed by the uh, thermal management. So when we took the case off, just seeing how it behaves when you particularly zoom yeah, in, it's going to get hotter. when you change elements within mm. the optical path, the fixture sort of seems to know that it's going to generate more internal heat, so mm. it kicks additional cooling mm. in. Uh, they also got a, a defogging system on the lens, mm. Mm. Um, which is pretty cool too. So look, there's there's a lot of thought that's obviously gone into this, and, mm. and I think that it's fair to say high ends taken their time to get it right before they've released it and uh, they've done a good job with yeah, it. Yeah, they totally have. Well look, thanks very much for watching the review. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time.